Hey everybody, Pete Werner here with this week's Disney Dining Show at a rather unique location. In fact, we're not at Disney at all. We're close by in Dr. Phillips at a restaurant called Christini's. And the reason that I'm wanting to do this particular uh, show here uh, is because of the unique connection this restaurant has to Disney. The man who owns this restaurant, a man by the name of Chris Christini, was the man responsible for starting the restaurants at the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. So Tutto Italia in particular was his restaurant. And after he got that started and rolling, he decided to strike out on his own. In the, in, in the 80s, came over here, what was it, 1986? 84. 84, 1984, uh, the year I was born. Um, he came over here and he started this restaurant and for the last 37 years, it has been a staple in Orlando, one of the best restaurants in this town, especially if you like Italian food. So, um, we're uh, kind of doing this, uh, this video for both this channel and our Moving to Orlando channel, because over on Moving to Orlando, we're doing this thing like this, try that. So if you like Tutto Italia, and then you want to try something off the beaten path, something different outside of Disney, something where locals go. Head over to Restaurant Row and Dr. Phillips and check out Christini's. Here's a look at what we thought. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are joined by Mr. Fiascanaro, of course, on the camera. We're also joined by Drake Shadwell um, and his uh, beautiful girlfriend, uh, Kelsey. Uh, and we are joined by uh, our Moving to Orlando broker with Forever Magic Realty, Latoya Cotton, who may or may not be on camera, but her husband, Nick, who is one of the owners of World of DVC will absolutely be on camera because you can't keep Nick away from a camera any more than you keep me away from one. Um, so uh, with this series, uh, I'm picking places that I like, that I've been to before, that I've had the food and I know it's good. So I'm not doing a review here, um, kind of explaining what we got and why we love it. Nick and LaToya have been here many, many times, many more than I have. Uh, it's the first time for Fiasco, Drake, and Kelsey. I imagine it will not be the last. Um, when it came time for the uh, appetizer, there's only one word that was going to leave my mouth. And trust me, if you come here, you're going to want to do the same thing. Meatballs. Meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. They are unbelievable. Three decent sized meatballs and a Pomodoro sauce, seventeen fifty uh, for that. Um, and uh, everyone at the table got the meatballs. And I think everyone at the table will say the same thing. These are some good meatballs. Something else you're going to say if you come here and you've been to Tutto Italia. The guy that's guy that started this started Tutto Italia. What happened to Tutto Italia? I ask myself that every time I come here. Um, now, for my main course, I had this uh, this veal chop. Now, calling this a veal chop is really underselling it. First of all, this thing was 32 ounces. This was not on the menu. This is an off-menu special. It was done with an apple brandy reduction. Uh, if they have this dish when you come here, you have to try it. It was incredible. Veal, so tender. So tender, it just falls right off the bone. That apple brandy reduction, incredible. And they had some pears also around, uh, around the outside of the plate. 
which was a really nice touch. It added a really nice flavor profile to it. Uh, it was an off-menu special. I have no idea at this point how much it was. I will say now, not knowing the price, if they charged $75 to $80 for it, I would think it was worth it. So that's my, I, at the very end, we'll come back and I'll tell you what, what it cost. But uh, my guess is if that was 75 to 80, I'd say, yep, that was absolutely worth it. It was that well prepared. All right, so like Pete mentioned, we are in Dr. Phillips, my stomping grounds. So I've never dined here before also, like he mentioned. I live very close though, and I walk by this area all the time. Actually, the first time that I ever walked by this area, I saw a bunch of black Escalades sitting outside and I was like, oh wow, me and Haley were talking to each other. Is someone famous here tonight? I wonder who it is. Turns out that's just kind of how it is here. Uh, along the walls, there's tons of pictures of different famous people that have, have dined here, which I'll, I'll overlay right now, but it's, it's obviously the thing. Uh, I feel underdressed. This is probably the, the top tier of how I dress for dining shows and I still feel underdressed. This is a really nice, really nice place. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be back. Like it was already mentioned, we all got the meatballs. I was kind of eyeing the calamari though on the appetizer menu. I usually get calamari at a lot of places, um, but you know what? I didn't want to be the odd man out. I got meatballs like everybody else, and they were insanely delicious. I'm going to echo everybody else. Get the meatballs. However, I also want to mention something that they were kind of pushing is the appetizer sampler. That's going to get you a bunch of different things. It's going to get you the meatballs, and it's going to get you the calamari. So if like you're kind of hungry and you want to try everything, you can also, you can also go for that. Uh, by the way, the meatballs were $17.50. The calamari was $16.50 and the sampler i guess is a special because it's not on the the actual menu menu for my entree i also got like kelsey the chicken marsala and it was so insanely good wasn't dry at all perfectly cooked super tender that sauce was just savory warm oh it was so good those mushrooms soaking up in the sauce too oh that's what i'm gonna have to bring Haley yeah, back here Haley's going to be upset right now after when she watches this review. I'm going to have to bring her back here and she's going to want to get that chicken marsala because it is totally up her alley. And next time I'm probably going to try the filet. I'm sure everything here is good. Hey, this is Nick Cotton and I'm here with all good friends, my beautiful wife. and We're having another great night at Christini's. Um, absolutely delicious food as always. I had the veal parmesan wonderful tasteful veal on top of uh, underneath a four cheese blend i have had veal parm little italy in new york um little italy in boston this would beat any of those i highly recommend if you come here to try that out um cocktails uh also had the bees buzz very good too and you get a little buzz um but um highly recommend it delicious meal Hey everybody, I am Drake Shadwell. You might have seen me a couple times. Uh, I'm a little new on the review track, but I've eaten plenty of food in my day, so hopefully it'll come in handy here. Uh, I will say, we, nobody's mentioned it, right from the start, they brought out just the bread with this roasted eggplant like spread for it. <laughs> That's when you know you're about to be in for an incredible dinner, is you haven't even ordered anything yet, and you start to get excited and you have to like slow yourself down from eating all the bread because you just want like you find yourself on your fourth piece and you're like I'm gonna fill up which I did but I did get through my entire meal first um, as Pete mentioned I'll say it those are some good meatballs for the appetizer I, I wanted to get something different I really did I like I, I actively try when we do these things because you're at home you want to know what the choices are just get the meatballs. There was, we all, you, they came out and it was just boom, 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 plate after plate after plate. And none of us, none of us were upset. The meatballs were a good texture. The sauce was like, you could just lather it on there. The meatballs were good without the sauce, but when you soaked it, mm, amazing. Uh, now I had the Chilean sea bass and I believe it was 52.75 around that area and this is a dangerous meal because it's gonna make you wanna have expensive taste. It's gonna make you wanna start spending a ridiculous amount of money on food because it had a shrimp risotto, 
a lobster sauce, and then the sea bass. And so you're talking about three different types of flavor of seafood that all complement each other really well. And then the risotto is perfectly well done with this beautiful, beautiful sauce that rings around the edge. I mean, just the moment you see it, the moment you look at it, you know it's gonna be good. And I, it's tough to fill me up. It is tough to fill me up. I was absolutely full by the end of this meal and it, every bite of it, I just wanted more over and over and over. Each piece could stand by itself. Risotto with just a little bit of the sauce, good. Uh, just the sauce, good. Sea bass with the sauce, good. Like each stood on its own and complemented each other well. I can't can't talk any, more, any, any better other than that. Oh, the cocktails. I also had the Bee's Buzz, but I also traded a little bit with uh, Kelsey with the Bee's Knees. And the Bee's Knees is more of like, I want to say like your traditional cocktail. Like you're going to kind of taste the alcohol, like what you would normally think of when you order a cocktail. Whereas the Bee's Buzz, it had absinthe in it. I think that was the minty taste that I was getting. Someone, maybe, maybe someone else can help me with my ignorance. It can come have this drink and tell me what I was tasting. But it had a very unique flavor. Um, I was really excited about it. But uh, I guess Kelsey will tell you a little bit more about her meal. Hi everyone, I'm Kelsey. I have previously done a dining review with uh, Pete and Drake that they invited me along to once before. Um, tonight I agree with both of them. Uh, the meatballs were fantastic. Um, great texture, not too dry. When I think meatballs, sometimes I think they're a little bit dried out. Um, these were perfect. Uh, I agree, the sauce just added onto it. It wasn't necessary, but it just added a little something extra. Um, with the cocktails that Drake and I had, um, the, between the bees buzz and the bees knees. I agree with Drake. I think the absinthe added a good modern twist to that cocktail, whereas the bees knees is going to be your more classic version of that cocktail. Um, for my meal, I had the chicken marsala that came with a marsala sauce and mushrooms, um, and I thought it was just delicious. Again, not too dry. Sometimes chicken comes out a little bit dry, but I thought it was fantastic. Um, so that's my review for this evening, and I thought it was a great meal here. Okay, so this is the part of the meal where I normally tell you how much uh, the meal cost. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do that because I was just informed that the manager has picked up our check. Uh, Nick uh, and Latoya are very, very good friends with the Christini family, and uh, Nick made the reservation, and she knew what we were doing. And since I, I had said, I think at the beginning of this, I'm not doing a review, uh, with these, um, um, do, I'm going to places I already know and like. Um, I have paid for meals here, and, uh, but I will never. Uh, we, we're never comped for a, a review. So uh, I, and, and in this case, like I said, I didn't know that going in, but I have to be fully transparent about it. Um, that I did not know that. With none of us did with anything we said. Um, but I am going to make up for it with the tip that I leave the server. Um, so I'm going to pay for this meal one way or the other. Um, but uh, this was a phenomenal meal. This was just a phenomenal meal. And it always is. Always, always, always. It's a great kitchen, great staff, great food, great menu. So if you want to try something different, uh, the next time you're in town, grab an Uber. It's not, this is not far from Disney property. This is what, five, 10 miles off Disney property over on Restaurant Row and Dr. Phillips. And if you've ever wanted to try Restaurant Row, this is a great place to start. So with that, that will do it for this episode of our show. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time.